some call it a defeat for Democrats and an enormous win for Republicans. Others say it had to happen. The president makes a deal to extend the Bush era tax cuts for everyone for the next two years. I know there's some people in my own party and in the other party who would rather prolong this battle, even if we can't reach a compromise. But I'm not willing to let working families across this country become collateral damage for political warfare here in Washington. The plan still needs to be signed into law. That's expected to happen before Congress breaks for the holidays. Under the proposal, unemployment benefits, which were supposed to expire this month, will be extended another 13 months. Sloan Hiller's in the newsroom with more on this. Sloan, good morning. Good morning, Crystal. Well, the really big headline out of all of this, unemployment benefits will likely be extended uh, to millions of people who were supposed to lose them between now and the spring. And then the other piece that's getting a lot of attention, uh, the payroll tax cut. So under the deal, it would be cut by 2%. That means if you make 45000 a year, you're going to keep 800 more than before. Economists say the benefit of this cut is you'll likely get the money quicker. Well, 800 uh, to people who are middle class and below get spent. Uh, and getting spent is exactly what we need. We have way too little demand to employ our workforce, which is why we have over 15 million people unemployed. Now, the deal will also extend a college tuition credit. Again, that was supposed to expire New Year's Eve. Uh, by extending the tax cuts, though, by the way, for another two years, that's going to cost the deficit $501 billion. We're in the newsroom. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News.